Have you always wanted to have religion in The Sims 2 with your own customizable deities and tenants? Well, now you can. <laughs> Me saying now, like, this uh, version of the mod wasn't released in 2016. So, welcome to the Almighty Hats website. Hat Play Sims is honestly a legend in The Sims 2 at the moment and has been forever. And so they released a version of the mod created with a couple other modders, including also the super fantastic um, Chris Hatch. So welcome to the G-rated religion, the medium version. Um, it's also made by Larky as well as the Alm Almighty Hat, and this is kind of a reformulation to make the religion mod utilized and, well, essentially not going to break your game if you use the Intinimator mod. And I know the Intinimator mod is a little bit outdated, but I'm obsessed with it. I will probably always use it because of the way it affects your lifespans for your teenagers. So I kind of use the second half of the teenagehood as a young adulthood. So let's dive right in to the G-rated religion. So the only difference between this and the previous mods, I think, is because it's stripped of the sex and romance. Um, behaviors and such associated with the original mod. So this adds about six really cool new things. You now get to have a deity for each religion. Um, you create your own religions and tenets for each religion. Your sims will have measures for faith and zeal. So faith measures the sims belief in a religion and zeal measures the sims affection for their religion and you can also set places of worship and that is oh i'm so excited about this mod i've already been playing with it for a few days just so i can kind of get accustomed to it and see how it works in game and i love it i haven't had any problems any glitches so each religion has its own deity obviously for coding purposes and um, from what I can tell, I don't think the deities actually like do anything. So they start off as like randomly generated NPC toddlers so that your sim deities don't just end up walking randomly around your town. <laughs> I mean, this isn't biblical times, but you can age them up. And so I guess if you are playing biblical times and you want your deities wandering around, like go for it. Do what you do what you want. This is your game. And so the tenets are really what make me excited here. So your tenets are made up of five different options. So wrath, theft, violence, indiscretion, and disrespect. And these are really cool because these tenets um, in associated with how much belief your sim has in their religion actually affect the way that your sims act in game. So they won't steal neighbors newspapers or gnomes if the sims have high belief in their religion. Um, they won't start anything under the fight interaction if you've banned violence. And so for each religion, you get to choose whether or not your sims in this religion with high faith will have these actions banned or allowed. So effectively, you could create an agnostic or an atheist religion and just allow all of these tenets. So that's what I do. The only unfortunate thing about this mod is that it doesn't really allow you to have sims without any religion in your hood, which is a little inconvenient. And so that's why I've created especially another religion for my sims who are atheists and agnostic. I'm just calling it atheism at the moment, even though I mean, I myself am agnostic, so I think that would be really cool. So faith and zeal are really cool. You actually have some new interactions, so you can ask about religion as well as chat about religion, which I think is really cool, and that is a way to keep your faith and zeal high. However, sharing those interactions with a sim who has a different religion lowers your faith and zeal for both sims. So there are repercussions for your sims to chat with sims outside of their own religion. And in my Victorian hood, which is namely Protestant with a little bit of Catholic sprinkled in, I am so excited to see how that actually interacts with my game. Something else I'm really excited about 
or the places of worship and I'll show you a little bit about that. And then the game does um, create an NPC called the sister who is effectively dressed like a nun. You're going to want to leave her file in the game even if you delete and uninstall the mod because as you should know, removing NPCs from your game can just destroy and corrupt everything. And so here's a little bit of how the um, stuff looks in your in your game. I haven't actually encountered those pop-ups yet. And I highly recommend if you are going to download this mod to go through the entire sh site a few times. It took me a couple of reads to fully get the grasp of everything. And honestly, I don't think that I do have a grasp on everything. It's so complicated. So we're going to use the Westerfields, my Parson family for St. Philip's Church. And I forgot to actually create the religion for St. Philip's. Um, so you automatically get this pop-up after 10 minutes in your game. Um, this is the first time we are creating religions. Um, so we're going to create St. Catherine, which is the religion for my uh, big cathedral that we just added to the game. Um, you'll see that. You'll see that next episode. So we're going to call the deity St. Catherine. You don't have to use saints. I am just using kind of a parish system. So each parish in my town will have its own deity, will have its own religion. Um, and that might be a little bit extra, but I think it works really well for me. So here, then you get these little pop-ups to decide what is allowed and banned. So wrath, when a follower of St. Catherine is stuck, frustrated, or angry, tantrums and other outbursts are either allowed or banned. I think this is kind of funny. I love this one, because when your sims get stuck, they'll get a little pop-up instead of just like waving at you. Theft. For followers of St. Catherine, taking anything that doesn't belong to them is allowed or banned. I'm going to say allowed. <laughs> don't, don't think about this too hard. This is, this is my Catholics in town. I'm not trying to insult anyone. Um, violence, according to St. Catherine, fighting and purposeful personal space violations are allowed. Indiscretion by decree of St. Catherine, rudeness and poor manners are, we're going to go with banned. And then disrespect to devotees of St. Catherine, intentionally petty mean behavior is either allowed or banned. We'll go with banned. And then we're going to make our second faith's deity as well. So this one is going to be male. We're going to do St. Anthony. I really should have done St. Philip, but <laughs> I didn't plan ahead. It's fine. You can change the religions in game. So once I create St. Philip's church, it's not going to be an issue. So we are going to name this St. Anthony. And so of course you go back through the process here. So now we have our first two religions in New Whitby set up. We're gonna go ahead and make them members of St. Anthony, even though that's the wrong church for them, just so I can kind of show you guys what happens. So you're gonna want to go to a community lot. This doesn't exactly work very well if your sims own the lot because you have to go to the a lot. I'm not actually sure if there's a workaround for that, but this is a very lower, lower middle class church. It's our downtown church, so the yard is a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to miscellaneous and then these three dots down here, and you're going to click on the little heaven and hell fairy. Your game will freeze for a few seconds. That's okay. That's totally normal. And then that actually enables live mode. So you go ahead and you can place this down, which is good because your sims can have interactions with it. And then the NPC sister will automatically spawn for you. And so you can use the sister. Um, she will appear on these community lots that are holy places. I think she looks a little silly. Um, you can actually change her appearance in game which I might want to do. <laughs> she doesn't exactly um, have the same genetics as most of my sims in town. As you probably know if you've seen my videos, I don't use the 
big Sims 2 eyes. I like my Sims to look a little bit more realistic, a little bit more alpha. Um, so you can change that. I haven't given it a go. I don't think that's going to break anything. So when the sister spawns on your community lots that are holy sites or religious sites, your sims can interact with her. And I believe according to the website description, when your sims interact with the sister, they actually gain um, faith and zeal. So that is a good way to kind of build up your faith and zeal. I believe that your sims also gain faith and zeal, maybe one or the other, I'm not quite sure at the moment. Um, I, I think that when they spend time on the holy sites, that actually goes up as well. So you want to make sure that your sims are going pretty regularly, which I really love because that adds some repercussion to your sims lives religiously and so I like to send my sims to church every Sunday and what's really cool is that you can set it so that only sims of that religion spawn on your religious site which is really exciting for me because then I don't have to worry so much about gatekeeping who comes into the church who shows up during my episodes so I'm really excited to play with that and see how that goes in action. Of course, your townies um, of that church can still autonomously spawn, so there is that kind of loophole. So when you click on the angel, you get a bunch of information, so you can change a sim's religion, and we're going to make this a worship place for St. Anthony, and then you can also click to make sure the sister is used here. You can change the place of worship, so you can do a bunch of things with this here. So I'm going to send our sim Ellis Sully here to check out the church, check out what we can do here, and show you a little bit about what it's like as a playable on a church site. So Ellis is our forester in town. Um, a lot of you really love him and his luscious mane. <laughs> so you can see we can change his religion, we can check his faith info, so you get um, information, the total number of religions in town is 4, their zeal is 75, their faith is 71, I think it's on a scale of 100, and they follow Saint Anthony. Oh, he's crying. Fam, why are you crying? You're, you're at a church. And then I did want to show you also, um, this little, uh, this little cross that I have that has its own like custom animations. So you can see here that you can actually interact with the sister just to kind of show you. I forgot to show you the like ask and like talk about specific things. I checked around. I didn't really, it's, it's going to be hard to notice like immediately when you're trying to look for it. But I think a lot of these custom interactions will show up and be really cool spontaneously through game. So here is the little cloth covered uh, cross that I use in my game. It has a bunch of custom animations, so you can plead, you can pray, and you can preach. And so this is what I use in my churches to have my um, parsons and priests peach. Peach? Preach. And so here's a little example that happened at Ellis's home that you can see. So um, their son says, my path is blocked. Can St. Anthony show me the way? And this was happening because he was stuck in his chair and because his mother was also in the chair, he couldn't actually get out, which I think is super cool. And then Ellis has, how do I get out of here? What would St. Anthony advise? And I think he was also stuck as well. And I think that's a little bit fun compared to the standard, like, hi, I'm stuck do something because I can't fix myself. So that is all for today. Let me know in the comments below or in the discord if you've tried out this mod. It was new to me and so I'm sure it's probably also new to a lot of you, but I'm really excited to start incorporating this into my Victorian Sims challenge and see how it changes my Sims behavior, see how it makes my, my town interact with each other and maybe create a little bit more religious tension. So Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time.